Hi everyone, Yvette Rose here from Metaphysical Anatomy. And so today we have a question about Sjogren's Syndrome. So this is when the eyes, the, the, the saliva gland starts to dry up. Um, you can have a lot of symptoms about the lungs. Um, arthro rheumatoid arthritis can also start to flare up. And so when we look at this, this condition and also actually thrush, oral and, and vaginal thrush as well. And it seems to also be triggering mostly women. So from my perspective, in terms of when we look at the psychosomatics of this and the emotional stress behind that, it's coming down to a life that you used to live and that you used to find joy through has now become a life that you're trying to get away from. There's a lot of, um, a lot of unresolved resentment. There's a lot of unresolved anger coming forward that's been triggering over a long period of time, low level, low level circumstances, but it's now really starting to build up to a point where the physical body is also showing you that what used to give me joy no longer does. What I love, what I used to love to see no longer makes me happy anymore. What I used to be able to communicate and say in the conversations that I used to have, it's just not bringing me joy anymore. And, and it's, there's now, what you're trying to do is almost like you're completely living in misalignment, trying to fit into a life that, that's now so far into the past, is no longer real anymore, and is no longer in alignment with you anymore. And there is a, there could perhaps be a, an unconscious slight resistance to accepting how much you've changed and transformed, and that you've outgrown certain circumstances that you can now see is not growing with you. And there's a part of you that's now becoming so depressed, so unhappy in those circumstances, but also trying to hold on to things that are no longer in alignment anymore. So. And ultimately, it's not meaning that you have to walk away from that. But it's also a, perhaps a time now for you to find that balance, find that middle ground, how you can start to co coexist with these circumstances if you choose not to walk away from it, if you choose not to change it, that's okay. You always have your free will, you always have choices in life. And so, but ultimately what it really boils down to is it's showing you that it's time to just Come into alignment to a place where you compromise, but not to your detriment. And also just another aspect quickly to add here is look at the symptoms, even though it's symptoms and they are secondary, they're also showing you that whatever it is that you used to feel connected to is now causing resentment. So it could be that boundaries have been overstepped. You've not been communicating what you needed to communicate. Perhaps you're not being treated in the way that you know that you're worried and deserving of. So for example, if you have oral thrush, you're going to be looking at what do you feel so incredibly angry and resentful for that you cannot say? Is it normally, and normally in most cases that's could be to a masculine figure, could also be to a very masculine feminine figure, right? But ultimately you're looking for that person that you feel very dominated by, very controlled by, an alpha type male figure or alpha type female figure as well. And also when you're looking at vaginal thrust, for example, in this case, you're looking at, you know, resentment towards your sexual partner. It could be that your sexual partner is making you feel unworthy as a woman or unworthy in, in your identity as a feminine essence. So. And, and especially if this is also, you know, if, if you're if you're a guy and this is and you're affected by this, you just flip it to the opposite um, opposite um, spectrum of it. So ultimately, it's important to also look at the symptoms, even though they are symptoms. The symptoms is actually showing you a secondary story that continues after the initial root cause, which is you are now in circumstances that not not in alignment with to where you have grown and transformed to in your life.